Hey up viewers, how y'all doing this fine day? As promised in the channel intro vid, I'm bringing you a Dora King Jan video including some commentary and tips for the fight caves itself, using the method I use which is melee. Basically, for Dora King Jan you're looking to it as high as possible, I mean who doesn't, but for this you need to increase your max life points to make you hit more on Jan for a given low LP value, e.g. 10 LP. So make a bonfire and add 5 logs to it to increase your max health, as you saw me do earlier. Magic logs are best. They do this for 1 hour enough for the whole caves. The safe spot you'll be using 9 times out of 10 is the one on the southwest of the arena, the one facing south with a small kink where you can stand to be safe. The waves are very predictable, and the only thing you'd want to be aware of is that you want to protect magic non-stop if the level 360 is still alive which it will be for every wave after the one with the two level 180s. Otherwise prepare to be beasted on. Just kill the level 22s first as they drain prayer if they get to attack you, and the rest should be pretty logical from the clip. As for the set trap, well you're looking at the maximum DPS output with a weapon that has the speed of a whip ideally, especially if you're meleeing the caves, which is the fastest method if you've got extremes in 90 to 95 plus melee stance. I don't have a rapier but I have Goliath so that's what I used. It's useful for flinching the 360s with. If you're using turmoil or piety all the way through, then I'd advise you flask your prayer potions, especially if you have a lower prayer level, or at least being prayer boosting gear like Soul Wars Cape and Varex. Dread Neeps are pretty much useless, unless you intend for them to help you take down Jad. Vengeance, well it would be useful for mess ups if you used a method other than Dorking, but still, better safe than sorry. It turns out to be slightly useful in the waves before Jad as well, especially the more intense ones like the 50s. If you're slow or something, I'd bring more overloads if you intend to use them, and likewise, more prayer renewals. If you have soul split or blood barrage then you won't need more than two brews and a restore for emergencies, but possibly bringing a couple more if you don't possess those abilities, would be a good idea. A sour diamond god sword is a huge help here, even more so than the enhanced Excalibur especially if you've got high stats. That's about it for the inventory, now for the gear. Obviously you want full Dorix, but a Slayer Helm for the caves if you're on a task, is a no-brainer really. You could just wear the Doric body and legs to save space and still have some of the best possible defense bonus after Torva, but bandas would work fine too. Claws are optional, I barely use them to be honest, Enhanced Excalibur is a huge help if you have it though. I hear the Karanja Gloves 4 for resurrection upon cough accidental cough death is useful, but Goliath Gloves or RFD Gloves are your safest bet. The torso and legs should ideally be Dorex, Bandos, or Varex, but you'll compromise on inventory if you're not using Dorex. A Fury or Glory is the obvious option for the next slot, or an Amulet of Strength for the really die-hard strength fans. Weapon and shield wise, first choice is Dragon Defender and the Rapier, but the CLS can one hit most monsters, and so can them all. A whip with a vine if possible, is the alternative, but above that would be the Dragon Defender and Goliath Glove setup, because despite having the stats of a normal whip, it's got some useful abilities such as stun and lowering stats. Oh almost forgot, the absolute best ring to use would either be the Tuckle Zoe from the Elder Kiln Quest for its 10% damage bonus to Tuzhar when charged, or the Embed Mobilizing Army's rings, or the Ring of Vigor if you intend to be a special attack Rambo. Now I have to be completely honest with you guys, this was my first time Dorking Jad, and I wasn't going to take many risks, especially since it was in a Slayer task as well. So I was being a chicken and only got down to 400 and something LP, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully though, you see how easy it is and what you'd have to do to take more risks. Perhaps if you guys suggest it, I'll do a braver attempt next time, with no flinching just straight up dorking, and try and max out on Jad by allowing the healers to do their work etc. But do make sure to suggest and thumbs up the stuff you want to see done in the comments below. The first thing you wanna do is to prepare yourself, 
Log in and go to the southwestern safe spot and wait for the two 360s to stop moving. Before we move on, it is important to note that you don't use up a lot of prayer now if you're running low, since you'll need quite a bit at JAD, so if this is the case, turn off turmoil or piety. If the situation is worse, trap the 360s and rest up while your prayer renewal does its job. Now, as you can see, the reason the best speed for a weapon is the same as a whip is that the 360s attack at whip speed, so you can flinch them in a synchronized manner. Goliath gloves have a weird animation, but it does help with the flinching quite a bit. Take note of how I attack while the 360 has started casting its magic, so it won't retaliate in the space that I attack. This is what you need to do at Jad. Kill one of the two and try and get the other as close to the safe spot as possible. Make sure you have enough overloads, you'll require two doses for getting close to one LP. After killing the second, quickly go to the safe spot and pray mage, having the camera face out. Jad will probably spawn elsewhere and you'll likely have time to prepare yourself, but if not, he'll spawn right in front of you and you need to pay attention to his attacks, while moving away from his sights in order to prepare yourself. Once you're away from his sight, depending on your light points, you want to either brew up to as close to at least 1000 LP as possible, or use a rock cake to get there if you're higher, then overload twice. A rock cake from the Watchtower quest or a Dwarven rock cake from RFD will help you get lower once you've overloaded twice. Now you can walk out to face him, be very careful though, because he can melee you at whip speed if you're within one space away from him, although his other attacks are at god sword speed. Having said that, don't overestimate him either, his attacks are easy to see. Again, I apologize for being a chicken and not going to lower LP but this was my first attempt at Dora King Jad and I was a little anxious. What you need to do is to always watch his attacks and have your prayer interface ready, and when you've used the correct prayer, click on him immediately while he does his attack animation and click back to at least two spaces away from him. An important thing to note is that you will miss quite often even with the overloads and turmoil, so you might want to spec him with a Stadius as Warhammer if you have it, or with a Barrel Kist Anchor or a BGS. This is by no means a requirement, more of a luxury in fact. Never feel the need to go too quickly or anything, just take it easy. Also remember to watch your life hit points. V E N J up and use a Dreadneat when you're comfortable. If you wanna try and go for max hits rather than finishing him off quickly, wait like 30 seconds while the healers heal him, either by hiding or tanking his attacks. Don't worry at all about the healers, you'll far outdo their healing rate. Just keep flinching like I am, and you'll be absolutely fine. You'll laugh at yourself for thinking this was going to be hard. Well, maybe not if you've been trialed like me here by red barring him quite a few times but still not killing him. Venging when he's close to death should ensure his death if you make a mistake as well. And eventually you will get your stylishly earned fire cape. Congratulations you hot, hot, scaper. Bet that's a good feeling isn't it? Prepare to be up. Put in prison. As always guys, don't forget to rate, leave feedback and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. We will try to get back to any questions as soon as possible.